let's log into the existing wireless controller. Today we're going to install a new wireless controller with the latest version. At the moment, uh, we're using 8.3 and we're going to install 8.5. This is the current wireless controller. It has an existing SSID that is working. It has two, um, two access points with different model. So at the moment, we have three clients that are connected on a Pabustan SSID. We need the, let's log in on one of the access point um, using serial cable, console cable. So this is the first uh, access point. And this is the second access point. You can use default username and password. Cisco, Cisco. Capital C, ISCO. So we'll log in on the second one. We need the, the we need the software for the wireless controller. So we're we will download 8.5 version. At the moment, this is the recommended version of uh, Cisco. You need the Cisco Active Account, Cisco ID so that you can download this one. To save time, I will um, post this uh, video while downloading the software. So once it's finished, I will resume the video. Okay, I'll just accept the license. Okay, now we're going to install the new wireless controller. We just select the software, OBA file, then just click next, change the name of the wireless controller into two because we have existing one, WLC1. I, I always choose thin provision. Then I'll just use the default next, then click finish. I'll, I'll change that uh, interface later once uh, installed. So let me power on the new wireless controller. Changing into default, VM network, then click OK. Power on the VM. So I'm going to post again the video while installing. So we can save uh, much time. After the installation is finished, I will show you on how to configure the initial configuration of the wireless controller. Press enter so that you can get inside from the setup. Press any key, any keyword.
so we'll just uh, uh, type yes then enter the username and password username is admin you just put the password that you want then we enter administrator password then I choose uh, static for this one and also I'll put the um, ser service interface IP address then that one that one that two um, slash 24 mask and this is the most important one the management IP 192.168.100.10 and the net mass is slash 24 then the gateway 192.168.1 okay then I'll just use uh, default then uh, 1 maybe I'll just change later the the VLAN identifier it will be uh, VLAN 100 I think so the HCP that I'm using, I think I'm using 192.168.100.2 Then the virtual gateway, I'll put 1.1 um, uh, .1, .1 .1 .1 .1 any virtual gateway you can put then I'll type default for the mobility IRF then I'll just put a dummy SSID which is test and configure the HC virgin mode will be I'll put no allow static IRF address I'll type I choose yes radius no then code Counter code, I'll, push, I'll choose AE, which is um, United Arab Emirates. Then I will enable 802.11b, all of them, all the radios, I will enable them. Then RF, yes, and NTP, no. Then I'll just manually configure the time now. So today is 21, September 21. 2019 so 9 slash 21 2019 okay then I need to enter the time so I will disable IPv6 because I don't require so I'll click yes save the configuration so it is setting uh, configuring now i'll pause again maybe the video so that we can save much time on this one So the, this project is uh, will be helpful. This actually as a laboratory, um, we're going to migrate the existing access point to the new wireless controller. The current wireless controller that we are using, we're using 8.3, and we're installing a new bra brand new wireless controller, which is 8.5. Then we have two type of wireless controller. Uh, we have two types of uh, access point. We have um, access point uh, 1100 series and 3600 series. Um, I hope these are compatible to the new version. So, okay, we're done here. So we'll enter the username and the password. We can log in. So that means um, we're good. So this is the show system information, okay. We can see here the IP address and the other details. Okay, so I'll post this video. So I need to check something here. Um, I need to change
I need to change the DHCP management. It should be 192.168.100.1. Okay, so it's showing it, I need to disable first all the radio. So, disable radio is just type um, WLAN. Disable all to automatically disable all the uh, radio. So I'll type this is the new DHCP management primary, then save config, save. Okay, I'll try to ping the gateway 192.168.100.1. Okay, it's not pinging. So there's something wrong. Ping itself. Okay, you can ping the management IP. Okay, uh, let's try to. Let's check the management interface. Maybe we need to uh, configure the management VLAN. Yeah, we need to configure the VLAN into VLAN 100. Config interface VLAN management 100. Okay, now try to let's try to ping it. Ping 192.168. See, at the background I can see the ping it's replying. So let's try to ping the gateway. Ping it's working now. Okay, now we can now ping the um, gateway. So from my PC, I can ping the controller. One eight two one six eight one hundred that ten. Um, why it's going to hundred that one? I need that ten. Just click proceed because we don't have certificate. Just click login, username, admin, the password. Okay. We can now log into the new wireless controller. So this is the old one, then that one twenty eight, that one that nineteen. This is the new one. Let's verify from the old one. The old one we're using eight point three. So these are the uh, SSID and these are the two access point that, that we're going to migrate to the new um, wireless controller. So this is our core switch. Um, let me check um, the DHCP that we configure here. It should be um, 192.168.100. Okay, so and we need that option 43 for the our controller and we're using slash 24 for the access point management and the wireless controller
will access the access point. This is the access point 1100 series. I think this model is not compatible in into version 8.5 but we can verify later from the documentation from Cisco and this is our another second access points which is 3600 series um, we can this one I, I know that this is so compatible for 8.5 so let's turn off the existing wireless access point we'll power up so that we will lose the connection from this wireless controller okay then um, we're going to verify again where are the access point connected because at the moment they're connected on VLAN 12 um, they're configured as a trunk because I'm using a plex mode connect so let me change into VLAN 100 so that they can receive an IP address from 192.168.100 network so I'll put VLAN 100 then I'll do it also from the other access point uh, I think it's um, interface 20 change it into interface 20 it should be 100 yeah so let me check if I'm getting the IP address. We have, uh, we receive 10 is, one is the gateway, 10 is the wireless controller, and four is the, I think that is the one of the wireless controller. Let's verify, show ID interface brief. So we're still getting an old IP address from the wireless controller. Let me check the other one, show interface brief. So 128. So we're clearing the current configuration of those access point. So I'm reloading them. That command is very important. So I'm rebooting this access point. After reboot, uh, they will automatically join in the uh, pool 192.168.100 and they will receive a firmware from the wireless controller. Let me double check again that the HCP 192.168.100. Okay, wireless controller is there. Looks fine. I think we're good. Okay, we can see one of the access points rebooting and loading firmware. All right. Show ARP 100, okay. That's good. The other access point is rebooted. I have a feeling that uh, the 1100 series access point is not compatible. Let's have a double check later. Let's finish this first. So I've interface briefs. Okay, we got the IP address 101. 
let me clear the configuration clear capwap IP address okay Cisco Cisco so clear a cup up a p IP address it will clear the configuration of the IP address what if there's a static clear cup up a p deep I'm cleaning the access point from this previous configuration Clear cup up IP. Ah. IP. IP address default gateway. Remove will remove the default gateway. Then let's check show cup IP config. So there's no configuration. Okay, cup up IP config. Okay, clear cup up. Okay, clearing the default gateway. Okay, clear cup up IP config. Troubleshooting. Show IP interface brief. Okay, we got this IP address. Show IP interface brief. Okay. Let's verify. Let's check from the wireless controller if you are getting those access point um, from from for some reason they are not connecting to the access point. Let's do a troubleshooting, debugging. We can check here. Let's try first to check the license. Okay, license looks fine. Let's accept the. Eula, okay, looks okay, license is fine. Save the configuration. Let's go to the wireless. Okay, let's check. Okay, this is the message here. Okay, the access, the other wireless controller looks having issue the first access point but the second I think it's fine see it's join on the wireless controller the 3600 is joining to the access point and we're getting the firmware from the wireless controller so we're I think we're good from this from the second access point I think uh, we're good so far so good so take note uh, before upgrading or my doing migration do an inventory check all your access point if they are compatible to the new uh, iOS version of wireless controller since this is the lab I did not verify if the these two access points are compatible. 
I I suspect that the the old access point 1100 AP is not compatible to the new 8.5 version. So let's check the logs. What is the logs that we are seeing here? So we're getting a incompatible incompatible for the counter code domain because the access point is um, dash a and we need to enable let's try to enable the counter code philippines and see because philippines is they're using dash a counter code access points also oh, at the moment we're using ae will enable uh, we'll try to enable Philippines. Select Philippines, then save, apply. Where's the apply button? There you go. So click apply. So we're getting a notification here. I think we need to disable first those radio before we can do the change from the counter code regulatory domains. So it's okay. Let's go to the radio. We'll disable all the radio. Disable the radio, apply, disable the other radio, A2211 BGN, okay, apply, okay, then we'll go back to the counter code, let's verify, okay, they are, oops, we missed that one. Okay, so let's double check again. So these are disabled. So let's go back to the uh, regulatory domains. We'll tick Philippines because one of our access points we're using um, dash A. So country then we'll select the Philippines okay apply okay okay then save the configuration click okay let's go to controller okay looks good Go to wireless controller. Let's modify the name of this one. Let's put WLC2. Then this default apply. Save the configuration. What else? We're still missing something. Let's do the verify. So we'll go to wireless. We can see the access point. It's connected. But still, the second access point is not uh, joining the wireless controller. We can check the logs uh, later and we will see the um, Cisco release notes documentation. Access point one still not joining. What is the problem of this access point? It's okay. The logs are not clear, so it's okay. Let's proceed. Let's first uh, 
fix this uh, second ac the working access point. This is the model of the access point, 3600. 3, so, let's log into the access point. So, IP interface rev, okay. Okay, this access point is okay. The first one, it's not okay. It's, there's something wrong on this access point. I will try to configure manually the access point. Let's first let's go to the wireless SSID. We'll create a new wireless SSID. We'll call SSID um, site site one and site two. We can also create a new group. So let's create a group. Um, UAE, UAE group, the po and we'll create a uh, group, uh, Philippines group. So the purpose of this grouping so that you can group all your SS uh, access point based on the location, so that when you're doing a maintenance, you can only um, configure those are uh, need to be uh, need to be configured. So we'll create a new. Let's open this group. Then we'll add this one. Okay, Philippine group. Let's click the wireless SSID. We can choose the SSID. Then we can choose access point, which access point we're joining to the group. So I'll click add. Okay, so the, I will delete this one. I don't want this test. Let's create a new SSID. Let's let's try to use Firefox. Firefox is more better compared to Chrome when it comes accessing Cisco devices. Okay, let me log into the Firefox. Let me log into the wireless controller. Click advance, then let's go to wireless SSID creation. Click new SSID, we'll make it a Wi-Fi 1, profile name SSID Wi-Fi 1, then apply. Then let's put a simple password. Um, VSK enabled, then type the password, password of the SSID, make it simple so we can easily de test later. So put the security, okay, I think we're good, so apply. Let's create another SSID. I'll call it Wi-Fi 2. Wi-Fi 2 SSID, then apply. Then based on this SSID, I can map those um, group that I created before. 
let's put the SSI the password okay then apply so let's go to the grouping of the access point I'll choose Pili wins then I will link the Wi-Fi 1 SSID for testing purposes Wi-Fi 1 then click add okay access point is link group is link okay so we're good here then I'll save the configuration wireless okay I think we're okay let's see let's have a test uh, this is the version and this is the backup software let's try it if uh, we are seeing the SSID let's try to check if the SSID is bursting uh, Wi-Fi 1 is not there mm, okay okay let's change the access point into plex connect mode because um, because uh, from the switch lever we configure the access point into trunk and also we'll, we need to first uh, enable this wireless controller first and see because uh, the radio are off that's why they are not broadcasting let's test it again and see the access point will reboot again I think okay let's enable it okay and see access point if you do if like for example if you have done some changes from the radio you do turn off or turn on access point will reboot automatically so access point is rebooting now let's wait for a few minutes and see the second access point I think this one is having problem we can ping the controller so we are getting these logs from the access point Let's check again. Let's try to manual configuration for this one. We'll do static. We'll try static configuration. Cup up. IP IP address IP two one six eight one hundred. Dot eleven, okay. Subnet mask slash twenty four. Okay, then we'll configure the gateway. We're doing static here, static configuration. Let's see if it if this trick will work. We'll configure the gateway. Okay. Let's configure the controller, static controller configuration.
192.168.100.10 Okay, we co we have done configuring the access point using a static configuration. Let's see how it works. We're still getting the same problem, I think. Okay, static configuration is there. IP address, gateway, and controller. We're still getting the same error. Okay, let's see after reboot. Okay, let's check. Maybe this access point is not compatible. Okay, let's let's check the second access point and see. So it will verify the wireless. Okay, the thirty six hundred series access point looks good let's change the access point name into ap1 okay then apply let's verify the configuration <clears throat> we're still using the backup Okay, we can see here it's Philippines. This access point is it's Philippines group. Okay, verify the, this one, right? Let's try to ch change it later into flex mode. So Wi Fi is enabled. Okay, let's check if the signal is there. Okay, still not there. So let's try to change it into flex, flex mode and see. Let's download also the backup software. We'll change this one. In the AP mode is currently local. We'll change into Plex Connect. And I will apply the change. After applying the change, it will automatically um, convert into Plex Connect mode. Okay, let me try also to um, enable the Plex enable this uh, let me download the backup software let's update it and see it should download the backup software 8.5 okay let's verify something else i think we're okay now the SSID should broadcast now, I think. Let's double check. Let me click it this again because for some reason it's not downloading the software. Save the configuration.
let's verify the documentation for the 8.5 I think uh, the 1100 series is not compatible see it is not listed here they stop supporting 1100 series access point when they release 8.5 Uh, the 1100 series is not supported so okay so we can now see the Wi-Fi one we can connect let's test the password it should work and it should connect now okay we successfully connected to the Wi-Fi so we, mig we successfully migrate migrated the access point to the new wireless controller and everything is working fine thank you very much thank you for watching thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and like the button thank you very much